Hello fellow Tarnish and welcome back to a quick video. So today I'd like to showcase the importance of Bloodhound step when faulting multiple people. So as you know me, I've been complaining a lot about magic in the game because I'm mostly a melee oriented type of player. The thing is that I didn't, you know, I didn't dig too much into the game, but here is Bloodhound step to the work. So Bloodhound step, what is it? It's an Ash of War that you get in Cali. I made a little video explaining how you can get it easily. But most people that you're gonna encounter are all gonna crouch on magic. Why? Because magic is the easy mode of Elden Ring. You don't need to engage into the enemy up close. You can just stay pretty far and spam your magic. And this is pretty much what's happening here. Although the host, this guy right here, he, he is actually fighting using his sword. His friend is always there to back him up with some magic. And since I don't know when he's going to attack, I need to be ready on the go. The thing is that even sometimes when you dodge, you will still get caught. For example, this um, this uh, dragon incantation that, that will get you uh, proc by Scarlet Rot. You will get damaged by Scarlet Rot and you will get damaged over time. It is undodgeable if you're up close. But Bloodhound Step gives you so many invincibility frame that you are able to get out of most spells here. Same story, so here I'm dodging. But you get the point is that even if I'm not in a good position to dodge, I know I can Bloodhound step out. If they are closing in on me, I can Bloodhound step out. It's such a unique tool, such an important tool, and it's honestly a must-have for invaders because in those situations when you're being cornered by two guys or sometimes more with no enemy support, and so far right now I'm by myself with, against these two guys, Having the ability to get out of the engagement is key. It is number one. So you can, or, or you can equip it on one weapon, or you can have a row of weapon that you can swap to. I'll show a little bit more what I mean when I'll be showcasing my 50 level invader build. And uh, yeah, this is, I mean, now we have more god to just join the fight. So it's going to be a much easier time because I can take care of this mage by myself. But Without it, it's pretty, pretty difficult and almost impossible. It's not impossible, but it's very, very hard to win invasions when you don't have the Bloodhound step. Um, for those reasons I just pointed out, it will just make your life so much easier. So if you're like me, you're an invader and you're playing against multiple people and you often die by magic spam. I mean, sorry about the motorcycle. I mean, you can just put Bloodhound step on and it will make your life so much, so much easier. So now I know I got this fight, you know Morgoth is fighting him. I'm gonna get him poisoned with the double katana, double Sa serpentine sword, I think it's called. And he's just taking damage over time and we will end up getting the W. But really, get yourself a Bloodhound step. Um, that, that was pretty much it, guys. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this butchery that's happening right in front of you. And I see you, my fellow Tarnish, very, very soon in the next video. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. I answer to every comment. So yeah, if you comment, I will answer you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.